All right. So welcome to your self-realization. We'll have a gratitude prayer here. Mother, Father, God, we give gratitude and thank yous for this day. We ask for your infinite light of protection to be with us and through us throughout this building and on Zoom so that only the highest and best will occur through our thoughts, words, and actions. And through those thoughts, words, and actions will lead us to a better understanding of our own self. So when we meet those on our path, we have a better understanding of them. We give thanks for this day. Amen. Amen. All right. Today and next week, we're going to be talking about order. And order is one of our 12 powers. And we are continuing on to the second half of our 12 powers. Um, we do this in a, in a way so that there is time in between to absorb what we've learned um, on our other powers. And so now's the time we continue on. So where would you consider order to be located? What does order feel like? Where would it be? Just a little thought, just. What Mine do you feels like it would be in my brain, like my calculator, but I don't know. <laughs> Interesting you say that. So it's actually um, located behind the navel in the abdominal region. Okay, it's kind of interesting because if you think about it, uh, referring back to Qigong, that area is the lower Dantian, which is where uh, earth, humanity, and heaven connect, or spirit connect, is that one region. And that is like the most powerful spot. And we always bring that energy, you know, like we have the energy within our body and our, you know our auric field and we're holding the energy with our hand but we're always around our lower region there and it's really kind of interesting that order would be in that location so uh the first law of universe there is a sequence of order in all things and when i when reverend david and i we talk about this every once in a while you know before we get going on a class and he was mentioning the happiness, health, and wealth. Okay. And if we don't have one of those in the sequence, like let's say we have a happiness and health, but the wealth is all construed in a certain way where we're just not able to have the abundance in that. Abundance and um, prosperity would be the equal parts of having all three of those. And so if that's, if one of them is missing, then that would be what? I'll just say it. <laughs> It'd be illness and lack or, oh, you're gonna say it, David? Discord. Discord, yeah. Uh, and so there, you know, there is um, three different things a part of this. And one of them is the first law of universe, wise relation, and the idea of adjustment. And so um, the first law of universe, there is a sequence of order in all things. And the second one is wise relation. One's thoughts, words, and actions are harmonious. And the third one is that idea of adjustment, order, adjust all mind faculties harmoniously. You know, you'll hear that all the time when we do like our Friday healing circle. When we get into the spot of order, we always say order, adjust all mind faculties harmoniously. Um, and so that's just something really to think about when we're talking about the location, um, what's going on in our lives. And that's why this is really important to, to write down in a journal what's going on in our lives so that we can, you know, like at night when we're about to go to bed, we can review our day and see where is it in the sequence of something in our life 
that may not be of the order. Um, and where is it having all of these things not be in balance? Um, evolution law, okay, law of spiritual and mental growth is constantly at work. And this law raises one from sense consciousness to spiritual consciousness, which works from within out and upward. So involution precedes evolution. Involution, that's transformation. And we know what evolution is. That which is involved in mind evolves through matter. High spiritual ideas are within. They draw others to themselves. These ideas are in captivity and it takes special effort to free them. Um, you know, when we're constantly thinking of something, we're just not really sure if we should share it. And we, oh, man, I'm not good enough or whatever those things that we come up with in our the mind without the spirit, right? Where our logic tries to jump in there. We use these faculties on everyday tasks. And when it's time for that idea to manifest, we act accordingly to sustain the idea. Be silent and know that I am's kingdom is wise judgment. We train until we are in balanced state of mind. The I am abiding in me does wise work. It's really interesting today. We were just talking about this mediumship thing and we were going over it and I was talking to Reverend David and he said, okay, so you have this idea. So sit in your I am silence and, you're, and it'll show up. It'll, it'll manifest itself. And as it was happening, I was still creating and I was like, but I want to do it now. In my mind, I kept going, I want to do it now. I want to do it with you. But he was trying to make sure that it's funny. We're talking about order and there it was, you know, very interesting how things work. So sitting in silence to finish up the creation. How, how to explain to me how that related to order. Like, so, you know, we've got like a system here of how we create things and how they are evolved through our thinking, our silence. For one, I definitely know that through spiritualism, we get support from the other side for sure. We get support by everything that we need or do. And so for one thing that taking it, you know, in a different perspective right now, I know if I'm in the silence, I'm going to get information coming from there that I can complete what I started in my imagination and finish up all the little finishing touches there. And I can have my own communication in the silence of how I'm going to do all these things. It may appear in a color, it may appear in a feeling, and then it just manifests itself. And there it is. And then I want to get, you know, moving and just start writing it down. Um, so that's one. And then order, you know, like they're talking about the sequence of all things having an order and our thoughts, words, and actions are harmonious. And how do we have that is really in our silence. How do we calm ourselves down? Is through our order, through our silence. How do we um, make adjustments? How do we um, create harmony? How are we harmony? You know, um, because when we're listening with our spirit, when we're getting assistance from wherever we're getting it from, it's all with do love and help all the time. Um, th that's where everything manifests. It's from the in out. So going in, being in with silence is where all things can manifest. Okay. And so is that why David tells us all the time to talk about things so much just to do them? 
Well, talking too, talking about things, it gets watered down by however many people are going to hear it. You know, they will change your way of thinking because they're them and you are you. You know, we have this, uh, we have a, um, uh, like a poem that says, I am I and you are you. And when we meet in the middle, you know, if it works out, then good. You know, it was, it's kind of like saying, you know, we all have our own individual things to do here on this earth and not to get it, you know, not to it. Blah, 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 bunch it all up, right? Each Stop individual it. has a purpose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 what I found with, uh, with order, you know, as you're talking about order and everything, when you do a garden, the part of that order is weeding and nurturing. And being in the silence is a way of nurture and a way to clean things up and, and prepare yourself for, for the action that's going on. Yeah. So much happens there. So much. And we get information too of our own uh, Akashic record information there that helps us understand where we've been to know where we're going. You know, we get confidence, security, all of that. Like you, we understand more when we're there. And then we bring it forward with what we're doing now. It'll all come around. So order and balance. Order and balance are kind of in line. Yeah. And balance, when you say balance, I think of polarities. Because uh, <laughs> when you get in the male and female polarity of self, giving, receiving, and balance, you know, like, you know, we talk about the sequences, um, happiness, health, wealth, giving, receiving, there's the polarities are really important because, you know, we do too many, you know, how, how have you ever seen and I'm sure in where you guys live, I bet this happens a lot. Male participants go and do something. Female yes. participants go and do something. And why are they separating themselves? You know, because separating yourself and becoming stronger in one thing, then you become less of a polarity of the other. And you're both. So... Being allness is, is the way to go, is what I would say. That's like separation, you know, separation of self. Um, so I'm going to move on if you guys are okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, okay, so great structures are built on firm foundations, strong and spiritual understanding. Foundations are attained through meditation and study in the silence. Interesting, we're just talking about that. In the silence, we infuse into the inner mind the same energy that when used in the outer world makes a worldly achievement. One needs to lay the foundation of strength and power in the subjective mind to have good health and for when it is needed for extra exertion in some great effort. To excel at something, you do it over and over again. It takes hours of doing each day, every day. There are two forces at work, spiritual ideas and the rule of material regime. The spiritual ideas are evolutionary new ideas that have gone into subconscious. This force struggles with what is one's world, unhappiness, sickness, and lack. This is evolution drawing out the negative and replacing it with the positive. Universal law is upward and onward. These forces are constantly at work in one's life. The material is holding on to old ideas and striving to perpetuate them in form. And the spiritual is idealizing the new and allowing every effort to break away from material bondage and rise above its limitations. The purpose of our spiritual thoughts in the body is to raise up the body and gradually to infuse it in a more enduring life and substance. 
At the same time, our spiritual thoughts draw on the substance that is to sustain the spiritual world. The sustaining of the spiritual world requires wise food, wise liquid, and wise people. The spiritual world is affirming by knowing that all wisdom and all love are externally manifested. By so affirming, we ignite that I am in control both within and without ourselves and do away with material regimes ruling power. In every change on the physical plane, there is a breakdown of cells and a building up of others to take their place. So this is what I kind of mean by the daily too. So daily, weekly, if you start seeing all of these breakdowns and building, then you'll start to see the pattern. Mentally, it, this is denial and affirmation. We let go of what is causing unhappiness and dis-ease and replace it with a happy, healthy, and wealthy foundation. The body is free from worries and negative words of mortality and sets a force with strong words of positive construction. Thoughts work themselves out in things and we get full result of their work only when we follow them consciously every step of the way and help them along. Know your thoughts, and when a thought is ready to manifest, give it a helping hand by opening the door and letting it out. And what I have to say about that is make sure it's happiness, health, and wealth, because if it isn't, you just created a monster. We're going to be ditching it. <laughs> so really, you know, we say, we say you are speaking a prayer when something comes out of your mouth. So anything we say is really important for what you're going to create. So you've thought about it already. You've, you've created it. You planted a seed. And then it started creating into something that started coming out of the mouth. And we have a moment there where we could go, that's not a good thing to say. We have it. We know we do. We even know the energy of it. Before it comes out, we go, oh, oh, that's not cool, but we do it anyway. Or we get that little thing where we like, you know, I want to say it anyways, you know, because we have our own option to experience. And so what we say is pull that weed, you know, pull the weed because we created something and it's not quite manifested yet, but we got to the point where we said it. Or we got to the point where we thought it, um, giving everything that loving energy and really breathing, breathing before we speak, you know, is, you know, if you go back to um, where the Indian would sit around in their circle while they're smoking their pipe. I mean, I just show, I say that because that's like, you know, the pictures of the movies or whatever, and they all sit down and they all get together. Well, you notice, and Hawaiians do this too. They have this whole teaching on it, on how they would communicate. And I saw this in um, learning a little bit of Hawaiian language. They were showing that whoever was speaking, they would listen to what they say and they would pause. And then they would wait if anybody would say something, they they first give it moments to let it soak in what that person was saying. And they gave them moments and then they would respond. And each, you know, there'd be certain people that would respond together and then it would move on. So each person had an option to speak, but each time someone spoke, everybody, paid full attention and never interrupted and so that to me was a very special teaching because when it comes to something like this if we're really manifesting and creating happiness health and wealth our spirit energy comes through in that sense and pardon me and we will get the goods coming through if we allow ourselves 
to be in that space. So, you know, uh, I, I always like to have some kind of evidence that these principles are, are true. And everything, and, and Reverend Angie mentioned about uh, the direction is onward, upward, and uh, upward, you know? Yeah. You know, we have all experienced that. When we were born, we were not the height we are, we we're not the weight we are, and we, we come from the inner to the outer, and we move upward. So that's a basic proof of, of principles. Yeah. Uh, and, and if anybody wants to uh, can, uh, discuss that with you, you know, you, you got you got basis for the principles that we have. We have evidence of all the principles that are in there, and, and we've all lived them. Mm -hmm. Great point. When the whole person is pure, the inner life is open and free. It has strength to move on, to make the changes so all can see. This is when God within will shine and death and dis-ease will no longer rule. So uh, this kind of relates to the Bible. Now, now, how I see the Bible is especially when they're talking about <clears throat> Jesus. Jesus was like the best man, uh, best metaphysician you can find. He was trying to say that each person has the same as him. Each person has an ability to be all there is to do. Um, but this particular one was talking about um, Corinthians 1440. It states, let all things be done decently and in order. Affirm, I now let go of worn out things, worn out conditions, and worn out relationships. Divine order is now established and maintained in me and my world now. That is our affirmations that we say. So that's just like a little something. Um, in here, it's... It, saying, so the sustaining of changes that take place is due to action. Uh, the action of eating wise food, the food one has been putting in the body represents what is in one's life. If life is negative, then the food is negative. Eating the best food leads to the desired weight. Smoking and drinking are negative actions. And for the body was not created to be able to process these actions. Find actions to replace them. Divine order is in the same law that keeps the stars operating harmoniously. Order will begin working in and through your life and affairs. Orderly thoughts make orderly cells. You are either tearing down or building up your health according to the nature of your thinking. When you feel there is not enough time to accomplish a certain project, affirm divine order. One cannot live on the reflected light of Jesus, but from the light of Jesus, the son of God within. So this kind of gets in about, you know, talking in the, whenever we talk about this, it's directly related to metaph metaphysical and how it connects to that. Salvation of one of one from the sins of mortality was not accomplished by the man Jesus alone. The power of the Christ in Jesus is the light, and God provides life and sustenance for all. Jesus' body was used as a vehicle through which a fresh and pure life stream and a regenerative substance was made available. One allows the Christ to be life and substance. Mind conforms to righteous living as taught by the spirit of truth. It will have dominion over disease and death, and nothing can come forth without law and order. So when we talk about, and, uh, and we're getting close on time here, but when we talk about um, the healing processes of our bodies, they make sense. Because everything we think, say, and do are what our bodies are created. So we, our cells listen to everything we are, our food, everything. It's all in order. Yes, it is. And if it's not, we know it. It tells us. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't it? 
Like, yeah. knock it off. Stop feeding me that junk, right? Oh, stop it. I have all control over you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Easier right? said than Well, we're, we're always good at uh, trying to create our own order without <laughs> listening very well. So anyway, um, I like to get you um, all to kind of do a meditation on what we just said. And instead of guiding you in this meditation, I'd like for you to all sit in a silent meditation and um, be in your silence and see what comes from all of that and um, share with us after we're done here what the result comes with your order. Okay, I'm going to turn on some music and I'll just have you sit in the silence for a few moments. And you are in charge.
very gently now, start becoming aware of your mental and physical consciousness. Moving your hands and feet and body just a little. When your mental and physical consciousness is fully aware, open your eyes. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> it's getting dark. It is, yes. Tracy, as we speak about that, how did you do? I did okay. I just tried to say the word order over and over. Um, and a few thoughts came to me. I don't know if um first of all, it occurred to me that I'm an idea person. That's how I'm made. I love to brainstorm and I'm good at it. But I'm not good at the building blocks that come up to that. Like I can come up with these grand ideas, but I'm not good with the consistency, the blocks that have to be formed under them to make something happen. So I saw a lot of that about how when I'm having these ideas to slow down and not, usually my head hurts after I can I do that, you know, not to focus on how many ideas, but focus more slowly and in the order of if I have an idea, see if it's a good one, but then make sure it's grounded by starting at the bottom to make sure it's grounding and work my way up. That occurred to me. And then um, order as far as since I started this, I've not perfectly, but tried really hard to incorporate my movement meditation every day, every morning. And the, I've gone back and looked, I went back for fun today and looked at my chart to see, and things really do fall apart if I do not have that order and how that structure and consistency and doing things in the right order is so important to my life. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand that before, but that's really all I came up with. I'm not even sure if that's the right concept, but it's- David, David and I are both going, that's your concept. <laughs> Okay. There is no right or wrong in it. That's a good foundation. Yeah. Just that I, I, I guess the biggest thing is that I need more of a foundation, like in things, and to make sure I start from the beginning and not start at the end. Don't, don't start at number 10, start at number one and work my way up. I'm, I'm actually trying to visualize that. So I'm, I'm taking a moment to see what you mean. Well, yeah. I tend to get very heady and very, uh, very, very um, just like Frank's, I'll give you a dumb example. When I was working in Kenya and I was trying, I was th this little bitty school who we just really just needed a couple of chickens to get started with, to get them sustainable. But my brain couldn't stop going, no, I'm going to contact Hilton Hotels and we're going to build a hotel up on the mountain. Well, you can't get things done that way if you get grandiose. You know, you have to start, like you have to build, like almost like, you know, the red, red chakra, like starting with the grounding on this earth, what is possible on this earth, and then move through those movements in that order and not start with my head, start more, start lower. So that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, um, as I hear this, I think of um, the zeal part of our body and how uh -huh. we get so excited about something. And uh, Reverend David was always talking about because I, I had been very much that person <laughs> forever until I got here. And sometimes he could probably say that I still get like that. But uh, that's was, exactly what I'm talking about. That's yeah, exactly what I'm talking about so excited and, blah, 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 blah. and then you just burn yourself out because right. the, the zeal it's just too much and rubbing the back of our head in that spot there is really really good for relaxing it and that's why um we have on our um our stained glass peace i am still for people like us <laughs> but that's exactly what it is i can make myself into a tizzy about the craziest idea. And it's not that it's a bad idea, but I never even grounded myself in it. I just- yeah. Keep yourself awake at night and just- Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, like, you're like the, you know, creator. 
Yeah. Right. I got you. You see in the biggest picture. And then there needs to be those other steps that need to happen before that big, because you're able to see the whole full picture of it, but you know, you're saying, what do we need to get there? Right. And I don't like that part. And that's just kind of life. You have to do order. It just doesn't work. Yeah. You know, those uh, people that create things and then they sell them. Mm-hmm. There you go. You're, yeah, there you go. You just create good. it and then sell the idea. There you go. <laughs> Because right. someone can do the other parts. <laughs> All right, Amy, how did you do? Well, I um, took that opportunity to, I feel like Amy Allen is a name that means many different things. And so there's the Amy Allen, the mom, there's Amy Allen, the musician, there's Amy Allen, the wife, you know, all these things. And I just set all of them down. And I had a serious talk with them, but I don't know who, I guess my soul talked to all of them about different reasons why my life is not in order and balance and um, told told each one of them shape up or ship out, whichever comes first. (laughs) Oh, you are a feast, tasty one, aren't you? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So that was it until you, until it was over. I just, Told them all how the cow ate the cabbage. Oh, say that again. Oh, it's a saying. I don't know who taught how the cow ate the cabbage. I taught yes. them. I told yes. them. I've heard that before. Yes. Yeah. It's a southern thing. Yeah. But she's from Oklahoma. You're from true. Oklahoma. You know, how well, are you doing? Fair to Midland? Yeah, right. Right. Fair to Midland. And they always go like this when they go down the road. They're waving at everybody. In my yeah, that's me. Home. That's us. He always would do this. He said, he said, wave like you're the queen. Come on, come on, get your hand out. Get, put it out, into, out of the window. Just say hi to everybody. I said, okay. That's it. That's it. So funny. All right. Well, I, I'm familiar with Fair to Midland. Yeah. <laughs> I come from upstate New York. Did they used to say that up there? Did they? Yeah. Really? It wasn't from all your travels. Oh, well, that's interesting. Maybe that was just the, that's how it was said back in the day, right, David? Yeah. Fair to Midland. I just think it sounds good with the accent. What well, was really yeah. surprising to me is when I was in the Army, uh, one of my best best buddies was a, a person from Mississippi, uh-huh. and he thought the same way I did. Isn't that interesting? It doesn't matter where you're from. He was raised the same way I was. Mm. Doesn't matter where you're from. Mm-hmm. Your people are more like you than you ever imagined, mm-hmm. you know? And when we're talking about all of this out in the world out there, we all have the same idea. It's just we think we don't, yeah. you know? That we're, everybody's against each other. and the, It's not even, it's created that way on the news that we're against right. each other, but we're not. Because in all, all ends well, all souls are for each other and with all compassion and love. All right, so this particular one is uh, uh, just a portion. So we're going to go into it again and not a, well, the same, same wording. Huh? You don't want to hear what I did? Oh, you, I, you were talking and I, I don't know why. I imagine that's what it was. My apology, Reverend David. How did you do? I'm so I'm not sorry. You know, when I, in, in, in a silence, you know, I was I was uh, thinking about uh, the creative law, which is farming from the invisible to the visible. And when, when we're talking about goals and ideas and everything like this, the possibility that that we did this in another lifetime is really great to get that idea from there. You know. And that's the part of the orderly thing of getting the foundation together and also getting getting the materials together mm-hmm. and everything. And from from getting information from a past life, you'll notice some of the materials that are already available for you. Mm-hmm. And, and and then there's time to put that together. And time has an important issue with, with order, you know. And so uh, I want you all to know if, we, if you have an idea. Uh, it's, it's, 
and you have you're not in your, and it's not in your life it doesn't mean that it's not in your life because past lives are still in your life yeah and, and you'll be able to get the, the 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 foundation together for that the foundation is already established for you mm -hmm. that's what i got you know when you said that i thought about uh the silence too you know that's where we get it mm -hmm. you know that's where we're getting all that information is in our silence the memory of where we were mm. thank you well and that helped me what he said helped me yeah it helps me too there was something that i just thought of today and we're not i'm not finished with it yet he said sit in the silence on that and I shall, you know, if we think of everything that way, you know, in our orderly fashion of, you know, how we get in these conversations where they're like this much, and then we get an interruption and then we don't go back. And then, so it's, it started and then we just didn't finish and it's just sitting there. And then it finally comes into fruition at some point. Um, right then, you know, setting yourself up for an orderly situation and you know going back to that and complete it and then go in your silence and being able to create it you know it's pretty interesting can i have a quick question um yeah. I, somehow for some reason these powers that i don't know why it's not clicking with me i know it will when i take a next class and all but when i look it up on the internet it comes based it what I'm finding comes from the unity church. Is yeah. that where your, your information is coming from too? Like the book you're reading from and all of that? Um, well, I'm, when I read, it relates from what Reverend David has created. However, however, uh, Fillmore. What's okay. His first, what's his first name? Robert? Charles. Charles. Charles Fillmore was the original well, not original, actually, people before him, yeah. too, right? No, he, he, him and his wife was the founders. Like I was they are the founders, yeah. but they also wrote a book on it. And Unity teaches it as we do. And okay. we teach it in the spiritualism way rather than fundamentally. So they talk a lot about Jesus, God, version, and so what we're doing is, is we're communicating the 12 powers also in relation to chakras and your aura and what the aura is related to with your life and everything that you manifest and do you'll find in may right david may you're going to be teaching all of that on saturdays how um they all relate and how the auric field creates you know the knowing of our past lives etc so that's and when we take and when we take the two year course, will we get some of that written material that we can study or? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, no. okay. it's, like, it's actually a big section. Okay. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And, and honestly, through these 12 powers, when I was doing them, um, well, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you all of it, but when I was doing them, each one was just so it's like it like even though i know it's there it it's like it turned on gotcha you know? i get it and it's i because, think well i think this is a good basic and then i think it'll click uh-huh and okay. the more and more you talk it over and do it and think about it it's in your life consistently it's always there and it's always right. on never never turn turned off it's it just is okay thank you yeah yeah all right so we'll uh move on with order next week and uh get a uh, more in-depth information so thank you thank you all for spending the time and and for yourself on order and i appreciate all of you we'll do our gratitude words Mother, Father, God, we give gratitude and thank yous for this day. We ask for your infinite light of protection to be with us and through us as we go on our path. So when we meet those on our passage, we share the love that is so abundant. We give thanks for this day. Amen. 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 See you next week.
All right, Thank guys. You. Thank okay. you. Bye-bye. You're welcome.